moving on from this and the last thing i want to talk about now is louis vuitton's pre fall collection for our second collection for louis vuitton after taking over from the great and the illustrious virgil abloh um due to his unfortunate passing and from the first glance it's kind of looking a bit samey it looks like he might have been a bit of a one-trick pony that first collection was pretty decent first debut especially with him not being a trained designer in any way shape or form i don't think he's done a full collection since the heady days of billionaires boys club so that was all right but so far from the pictures that i've seen on vogue which i'm going to be browsing over now it seems like that first collection was it and now it just looks a bit shit i'm not gonna lie very samey very kind of basic maybe some good accessories i'm looking at some of the looks now and it looks very 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 mediocre i'm not gonna lie i think it was hosted in hong kong somewhere i think that's where the pre fall collection was done um the setting looks kind of awesome it looks like it's somewhere is it on a bridge or like on a boat somewhere the background looks amazing it looks like it's on a river somewhere so obviously an international show hong kong being a big market for louis vuitton i completely get that but the look so far you could take a lot of these looks and put them into the first collection that he did and it would look pretty cool maybe because there's a pre fall that probably makes the reason why it's like this but it looks kind of terrible i'm not going to lie it looks very 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 average very terrible um there's a lot of fucking you know nautica influences going on there with the shirts and some of the shape of the of the jackets and stuff and the hats and whatnot but there's not a lot here that i would wear i'm not gonna lie a lot of it's very samey i'm seeing a lot of the same double breasted jacket i'm seeing a lot of the same hat i'm seeing a lot of the same cut of pants i'm seeing a lot of the same socks with the with the with mary jane socks with the fuck stacked socks with the mary jane stacked socks with the loafers they did in the first collections that that baseball jacket is pretty hard i'm not gonna lie i like that leather jacket here and look number 22 and 23 are probably some of my favorites i've seen so far but apart from that it's all very ordinary like a lot of this stuff is very very shit and i think maybe it's a, a evidence of just how hard it is to do this kind of job the amount of fucking the amount of collections you have to put out on a daily is probably hard isn't it really hard pre for collaborations in between you know pre-collections normal ready to wear collections plus the collaborations plus the accessories it's a lot of shit to put out and this yeah this even the second half the, the other half of the show from looks number 30 onwards like what the fuck is all this stuff like what is this some of this floral design the stripes the jackets the shirts like it's really bad man really really bad and it's surprising it's fallen off so quickly i would have thought it would have taken some time to get to this level i didn't think it would have fallen off this quickly i thought it would have been you know a, a steady decline but it looks like already after the first collection it's already falling off the cliff and i'm not seeing a lot of people post about it on social as well it's a good sign that people aren't really rocking like come on man like what this is very h&m this is definitely definitely h&m from this look onwards 54 you know 55 is definitely h&m like what the sh what the fuck is this shit horrendous really really bad there's not a there's not much like and then at the end here he is with the hats is like this is awful man his outfit's actually nice here on 65 his own outfit but the rest of it is really really bad i don't like any of it zero 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 of this stuff is good it all looks kind of terrible wow i'm actually surprised how ordinary it all looks i'm not gonna lie but maybe i should be surprised maybe that is the difference of hiring somebody that's actually a an actual designer or maybe an actual designer. maybe someone that's just like currently in the trenches you know putting out collections maybe you have a little bit more in your arsenal you have a little bit more to draw from something like him who's you know again making collab doing collaborations and capture collections here and there I just don't think it's enough momentum and output and motion to carry over to doing ready to wear, right? Or, you know, or designing for a luxury house like this, like especially to the level of output that they want. Because essentially, how many collections are you designing a year? Maybe six, if you include all the pre collections without the collaborations, it might be six collections he's putting together. And even if he's not designing and sketching them all himself, he still has to do some bit of leadership, some bit of input has to be given into the stuff. So that's a lot of collections to put out a year, six minimum, probably. Or maybe let's say four to be safe. Four collections per year for someone that wasn't doing much. That's a lot of shit. And it's showing that, you know, it's hard to make something fresh. And this is not fresh at all. This looks very samey. 
Um, yeah, not a fan of this in the slightest. Not for me. Let's quickly read the review here. Coach of Vogue, let's see what they're saying. They're probably not going to give the realness. They're probably going to suck his ass on this. Let's see what they're saying here. A swarm of illuminated drones hovered high above Hong Kong's Victoria Harbour at Pharrell's first Louis Vuitton menswear pre-fall show, etching momentary patterns in the sky. First, they synchronized to illustrate a rising blue wave and pushing the, ri uh, the riderless white surfboard. Uh, da -da -da, a wave broke out and the surfboard transformed into a traditional junk boat at the kind that was piled these waters for centuries. Maritime female established the drones scattered to reform a designer's um, lv motif so they had drones above the thing okay cool um and so low shu hiru and dylan wang stray kids felix and rao alejandro 600 vic's and around 200 of hong kong fashion students were watching on a big screen we were invited to see the collection and contained many complex currents of its own. Okay, that's a pretty cool little thing with the students and shit. Theme-wise, the main dialogue ran the characters of Dandy Sailor at the beginning and the earthier surfer tool. <laughs> What's, what is the connection between a sailor and a surfer apart from the seas, stylistically? No wonder it looks all over the place. The muse was a, was a sailor and a surfer. Among the many super enjoyable elements of the wavy uh of the wave your end were the intensely mustard hawaiian style prints and the aloha shirts and the short sets so vogue is definitely lying vogue is saying some of the worst things in that collection were the best things jesus christ a suede shawl and shirt set in red was garland with a wide edge flowers who could arrange according to your mood and they were uh, what's it they were beaded shorty sweat wetsuits and ponchos in neoprene friendship bracelets and necklaces and rattan shirts and fisherman sandals i'd love to know how much a louis vuitton pharrell designed friendship bracelet is going to go for I'd love to know. Um, around and also sometimes within its fun, frothing churn of the luxury surfology, Williams's LV lexicon began to take shape. Pearls as milky as the moonlight ripped denim rivets, um, rivets, top buttons and etched pinstripes on seersucker were the precious pixels that traced the floral waves and the fish on the closing baseball jacket. The, yeah just so much gas here the lv initials um resemble the grid of the fishing net in the silk so shit the colorless coat not quite rattan coat and the same milky tone of the pearl buttons the high-waisted double-breasted jackets and uh what's that the breaky pants and the wide shorts neptune god of the ocean was inserted into one of the aloha prints as the join dots and the easter eggs for the pharrell files um accessories provided the tide of the uh, that propels louis vuitton uh they were given due prominence this evening tweaked version of the speedy and a new chest bag were among the models printed in bicolor checkerboard versions of the damia design taken from the archives original uh, design retaining the first hand brushed identifier those elvia lower prints landed here too at the end of it all those drones made for public made for such a res irresistible content that some in the 1200 strong crowd shifted from their spots and apparently to gain an improved shooting position this current then swirled against the finales ensemble the waves and blah, 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 blah. okay cool so Virgo lying and saying it's good but it's been fucking shit I, I i don't like anything from this to be fair um maybe some of the except maybe a stretch some of the accessories look cool the double-breasted suit jackets maybe you can make something of that but jesus christ this is very ordinary already and i really don't understand stylistically why you know what fucking navy and surfers like what can like what the hell is going on here navy surfers okay so like i don't understand what any of this stuff is and what it means and what it's basically doing for the story that he's trying to tell here like even this look look number 30 like what does this what does that belong here what, what does that have to do with being a surfer like stylistically it just looks all over the place like a baseball jacket like, i don't know it all looks fucking horrendous like it definitely is, looks like top shop h&m level of branding this chest bag is absolutely awful um the print on this suit set this aloha suit is garbage but i can definitely see j balvin wearing this this is definitely j balvin's vibe like lots of unnecessary gaudy colors and patterns and stuff j balvin's gonna be all over this shit but for me personally, it's absolutely horrendous. And if anything, it's such an epic fall off from the first collection. Like it really is. One one decent collection. And then to this, it's like, wow, what an epic fall off. But yeah, 
No surprise there. No real surprise there.